Hello everyone. My name is Grzegorz Dudek. Uh, I am from Częstochowa University of Technology Poland. And in collaboration with my PhD student Paweł Pełka and uh, Sławek Smil from Uber, uh, we present our research results on a new hybrid model for electrical energy consumption for casting. Firstly, I would like to present the motivation of uh, this work. I, uh, I will present the idea of the architecture of the proposed approach. Uh, then I will describe time series processing and residual related LSTM, which is the core of the proposed approach. Uh, finally, I will show results and conclude the work. Medium term electricity energy demand for recasting plays a key role uh, in power system planning and operation. Mid-term forecasts are necessary for scheduling maintenance, planning of production levels and fuel purchases, uh, planning of network investments and negotiating uh, contracts between energy uh, companies. Our proposed model is based on the winning submission to the M4 forecasting competition 2018, developed by Suavex Mel. We combine uh, this model with data pre-processing, which turned out to be very useful in our previous models uh, based on similarities between time series uh, sequences. We expect that uh, time series initial normalization, which simplifies the relationship between input and output data, allows the model to improve its performance. The proposed system is a hybrid and a hierarchical deep learning model designed for monthly electricity demand forecasting. It combines uh, statistical modeling using exponential smoothing, ETS, advanced machine learning, residual dilated long short-term memory, RDLSTM, and ensembling. ETS is used for forecasting yearly means and dispersions, of monthly electricity demands, as well as uh, for extraction of seasonal component. The pre-processed time series without trend and seasonal variations are forecasted using RDLSTM. Many forecasts produced by the model are ensembled, decreasing the final error and forecast variance. Multi-layer LSTM is equipped with um, uh, delayed uh, recurrent skip connections and a spatial uh, shortcut path uh, from lower layers to allow the model to better capture long-term uh, seasonal relationships and ensure more efficient training. Deseasonalization and LSTM are combined in a simultaneous learning process using stochastic gradient descent SGD, which leads to learning time series representations and mapping uh, at the same time. To deal with a forecast bias, uh, an asymmetric pinball loss function was applied. Tree-level ensembling uh, provides uh, powerful regularization, uh, reducing uh, the model variance. The system components are as follows. Normalization. Each original monthly electricity demand time series is normalized. This procedure removes a trend from the time series and unifies its variance. Normalization module uh, loads a set of time series, Z, calculates uh, the series uh, yearly mean demands, Y over bar, and yearly dispersions, sigma, for each time series, and determines normalized series Y. ETS, this is exponential smoothing modules for uh, forecasting the yearly mean de demands and yearly dispersions. Uh, these values are necessary for denormalization. Deseasonalization. Each uh, normalized uh, time series is deseasonalized. This procedure extracts uh, the seasonal components as individually for each uh, series using ETS and determines this is analyzed time series X. RDLSTM, this is residual delayed LSTM for forecasting the normalized and this is analyzed time series X. 
uh, reseasonalization. Each time series forecast uh, produced by RDLSTM is reseasonalized using inverse operations to deseasonalization. Ensembling uh, the uh, reseasonalized forecasts produced by RDLSTM are averaged. The ensembling module receives uh, the sets of individual forecasts, Y, and returns uh, an aggregated forecast for each time series. And finally, uh, denormalization. The average uh, forecasts are denormalized uh, using forecasted values of the yearly means Y over bar and dispersions sigma. Uh, figure uh, 2a shows uh, the original time series, monthly electricity demand, and figures 2b and 2c show extracted yearly mean and dispersion, respectively. After removing the mean and dispersion uh, from the time series, we obtain normalized time series shown in figure 2d. Uh, this time series is further deseasonalized. Seasonal component is shown in figure 2e. Normalized and deseasonalized uh, time series uh, shown in figure 2f is forecasted by RDLSTM. Equation 2 expresses normalization. Z over bar is the mean uh, value of the yearly period and sigma is uh, its dispersion. After normalization, yearly sequences are unified. They all have an average of 1 and the same variance. Uh, they carry information about the shapes of the yearly periods. See figure 2D. Uh, the normalized uh, time series is further deseasonalized. To do so, we use a simple uh, Holt Winters multiplicative seasonal model with only one component, C equation 3, where ST is the seasonal component at time point uh, T and beta is a smoothing coefficient. The seasonal component is shown in figure 2e. It is used for deseasonalization during the um, on-the-fly preprocessing. Uh, this is expressed by equation 4. To limit the impact of outliers uh, on the forecasts, a squashing function logarithm is applied. The forecasts produced by RDLSTM xt are reseasonalized using equation 5. Finally, the time series is deseasonalized using equation 6. This is transformed equation 2. The RDLSTM architecture used in this study is shown in figure uh, 3a. It is composed of four recurrent layers and a linear unit LU. The first layer consists of the standard LSTM block, uh, shown in figure 3b. Uh, the subsequent three layers consist of RD LSTM blocks, that is blocks equipped uh, with delayed uh, recurrent skip connections and a special uh, shortcut path from lower layers, figure 3c. The shortcut paths are used to allow gradients to flow through a network directly without passing through nonlinear activation functions. Note that RDLSTM works on 12 component X vectors. It produces the forecasts for the whole yearly period, receiving the previous yearly period as input. Equations describing the LSTM blocks are shown in the table. A linear unit LU uh, transform the output of the last layer into the forecast of the output x vector according to equation 7. The parameters of our DRSDM, that is an uh, input weights W, recurrent weights uh, V and biases B, are learned using stochastic gradient descent in the cross-learning mode simultaneously with the ETS parameters. The length of the uh, cell and hidden states M, the same for all layers, was selected on the training set to ensure the highest performance. During learning, the pinball loss is minimized. The tau parameter controls the bias of the forecasts. 
We applied the proposed model for monthly electricity demand forecasting for 35 European countries. Uh, the forecasting problem is to produce the forecasts for the 12 months of the last year of the data, using data from the previous years for training. The table shows the forecast results averaged over uh, 35 countries. We compare results of our model with results of 17 other uh, forecasting models, including classical statistical models, as well as machine learning and hybrid models. As can be seen from this table, our model presented in the last row outperforms other models in each category. It outperforms its predecessor, ETS RD uh, LSTM, by around 9% in MAP and RMSE. MPE, that is mean percentage error, provides information on potential forecast bias. All the models produce negatively biased forecasts that is overpredicted. But for our model, uh, the t-test didn't reject the null hypothesis that uh, percentage error comes from a normal distribution with mean equal to zero. All other models didn't pass this test. So it can be concluded that our model as the only one produced unbiased forecasts. Note that our model has the mechanism to uh, deal with bias. The loss function asymmetry is controlled by parameter tau. It was selected as 0.4, which allowed the model to reduce a negative bias. This figure depicts more detailed results made for each country. As can be seen from this figure, in most cases, our model, red bar, is one of the most accurate models. Examples of forecasts produced by the selected models are shown in this picture. For PL and DE uh, data, MAP is uh, on the low level around 2%, while for GB data, the forecasts are strongly underestimated, over 5%. This is because the demand for GB went up unexpectedly in the last uh, year of data forecasted year, uh, despite the downward trend observed in the previous period. Uh, these figures depict uh, the model rankings based on MAP and RMSE. Uh, they show average ranks uh, of the models in the rankings for individual countries. Note the first position of our model in both rankings. Summarizing experimental research, it should be noted that the forecasting model performance depends significantly on the appropriate time series pre-processing. Although LSTM deals with raw data without pre-processing, introducing initial normalization and dynamic decisionalization in our model improved significantly LSTM performance. It should be noted that LSTM-based models are more complex than other comparative models. Due to the huge number of parameters and complicated learning procedure using backpropagation through time, the learning time of LSTM is much longer than for other comparative models. Conclusions In this work, we proposed an extended hybrid RDLSTM and ETS model for midterm load forecasting. It combines initial time series decomposition into three components normalized time series trend and dispersion, ETS modules for trend and dispersion forecasting, ETS for decisionalization, advanced LSTM and ensembling. The model has a hierarchical structure composed of a global part learned across many time series, this is LSTM, and a time series specific part, normalization and decisionalization. This is analyzation and LSTM are combined in a simultaneous learning process using uh, SGD, which leads to learning time series representations as well as mapping at the same time. We used residual delayed LSTM, which can capture better long term seasonal relationships and ensure a more efficient training. To deal with a forecast bias, an asymmetric pinball loss function was applied. Three level ensembling provides a regularization uh, reducing the model variance, 
which has sources in the stochastic nature of SGD and also in data and parameter uh, uncertainty. An experimental study, monthly electricity demand forecasting for 35 European countries, demonstrated the state-of-the-art performance of the proposed model. It generated more accurate forecasts uh, than its predecessor, ETS RDLSTM, classical models such as ARIMA and ETS, as well as uh, state-of-the-art models based on machine learning. Thank you for your attention.